Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So Bandai just released the official details for the upcoming Tech Fusion Zamasu Extreme Z Awakening on JP, I think within the next like one or two days. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about them and uh, give you guys my quick preliminary opinions about him as well. But do keep in mind that they could change once the unit officially comes out and I get a chance to actually test them out, all right? So without further ado, let's jump into it. So first things first, let's go over the pre-Extreme Z Awakening details so that you guys can compare to the new details post-Extreme Z Awakening. Okay, so his leader skill used to be Extreme Class Key plus 1, HP, Attack and Defense plus 70%. His super attack caused immense damage and greatly lowers defense. And his passive was attack plus 120%, attack minus 10% for super class allies. And of course the links and categories will stay the same after Extreme Z Awakening. So once you finish his Extreme Z Awakening, he will give extreme class allies key plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 100%. His super attack now also still causes immense damage, but also greatly lowers the- wait, hold on. That's, okay, that was already there. Okay, never mind. So, still greatly lowers defense and raises extreme class allies' attack by 30% for one turn. So, he becomes a bit of a support unit. And of course, for a unit like him, um, it definitely makes sense to run him um, in the first slot. So, the rest of your rotation will benefit from that 30% attack increase for sure, which is awesome. And his passive is now attack plus 140%, super class allies attack minus 10%, and super class enemies attack and defense minus 20%, extreme class realm of gods category allies defense plus 50%. So that's the new passive. Uh, I really, really like it. And his new, uh, let's see, stats, they are pretty damn good. He gets 18,168 attack at rainbow status, which is quite insane, 16,872 HP and 10,378 defense, which is not bad either. So uh, overall, this Masu is looking like he's going to be really, really strong, um, especially from a damage output perspective. I wouldn't be surprised if he can get up to like 3 million attack plus fairly easily. And um, of course, he also does have a bit of a supporting role now. He gives uh, the extreme allies on your team or on your rotation 30% attack when he supers. And he also provides an extra 50% defense to extreme class Realm of Gods units. And uh, he also debuffs the enemy, at least if they are super class. And uh, of course, he still debuffs super class allies. So ideally, you don't want to run... Uh, too many super class allies on the team, but uh, he looks really good. He looks really really solid. His damage will be insane uh, He actually is gonna be somewhat viable defensively. I mean, he's still not gonna be great I feel like it's gonna be around like maybe 70 80,000 defense. Of course, I haven't done the calculation so I can't say for sure, but his defense won't be that impressive But it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be way better than it was before where he had no defense at all, right? And uh, he's also making your rotation more tanky so that your allies won't be taking as much damage either, which is great. So uh, yeah, I like it a lot. I really, really like it. And that's pretty much all there is to talk about in this video. I don't really have any gameplay to show you because uh, the data download, I believe, on JP hasn't happened yet, I think. I could be wrong. But either way, I'm not going to do a showcase in this video. It's just about talking about these details so there you go and uh let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about tech zamasu's extreme z awakening details i know some people are already uh saying it's like bad they're all already saying he sucks which is to be expected there's always going to be people that are on the negative end of the spectrum when it comes to these details and uh generally speaking these units always end up way better than these people think. And I think in general, people are pretty positive about it. I'm very positive about it. I think he's going to be really good for a lot of events. Maybe not for the longer events like the Legendary Goku event or the Infinite Dragon Ball history. But he's going to be pretty good for Super Battle Road since he's going he's to be debuffing uh, enemies. He's going to be buffing your allies as well. 
and uh, he's gonna be doing a crazy amount of damage so I do expect him to be quite good for Super Battle Road and of course for Dokkan events he'll be just fine so there you go that's gonna do it for the video uh, hope you guys liked it as always if you guys liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out <laughs>